So, if you think that Rishi Sunak had a better show and as a result uh, would potentially make the better Prime Minister of this country, can you put your hand up now, ladies and gentlemen, please? Oh my goodness, that looks to me like an awful lot for Mr Sunak. Who would prefer Ms Truss as the next Prime Minister? Now, I, I wasn't expecting that. Rishi Sunak had a better show and as a result uh, would potentially make the better Prime Minister of this country. Can you put your hand up now, ladies and gentlemen, please? Oh my goodness, that looks to me like an awful lot for Mr Sunak. If you think that Rishi Sunak had a better show and as a result uh, would potentially make the better Prime Minister of this country. Can you put your hand up now, ladies and gentlemen, please? Oh my goodness, that looks to me like an awful lot for Mr Sunak. Who would prefer Ms Truss as the next Prime Minister? Now, I, I wasn't expecting that, I have to say, but I think, with just keeping your hands up for Ms Truss, while we get some more shots just to show people at home, it looks to me as though Mr Sunak convinced you far more than um, Ms Truss. What the Bank of England have said today is, of course, extremely worrying. But it is not inevitable. We can change the outcome and we can make it more likely that the economy grows. And what's important is, first of all, that we need to help people struggling with the cost of living. Okay. You simply can't tax your way to growth. And I'm afraid the very high taxes we have at the moment, a 70-year high, are likely to lead to a recession. Okay. And that's what the Bank of England is predicting. Okay. The number one thing we have to do is not make the situation worse. What is causing the recession? Right? As you heard from the Bank of England today, and I think Liz said something before, which I'm just going to correct, it's not the tax burden that is causing the recession. That's simply wrong. What's causing the recession is inflation. Right? That's the root of the problems we have, not just here, but in America and elsewhere. So the way we're going to get through this, first and foremost, is gripping inflation. Inflation.